A very warm welcome back to Evergreen Valley on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 4 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, I am still alive for those of you who only watch my Let's Plays and don't watch Mod Reviews, Map Tours, that kind of thing. I did say a week ago, nearly a week ago, and I was going to owe Miss Silly P that I would continue to make videos as best as I could. I would probably do mod reviews, map tours, that kind of thing. And a lot of people have been messaging me, asking me what's going on. Obviously, I then I did a video on Mars, I did a video on this, and said, okay, right, we're back onto this, and then went away. So I am still alive, things are still happening. Um, I'm going to say what I always say, and it probably won't end up being true. This is going to be a shorter episode, probably a much shorter episode. And we are still away, it's Friday the 12th, and we are due to come home tomorrow on Saturday. Um, I did say, I had all these plans of things I was going to do this week, and videos I was going to make, and walk and talks, and the weather has been atrocious. We arrived to three days of Storm Kathleen. I mentioned this on one of the mod reviews. Uh, I think we had one day of nice weather. We went to Keswick, we were going to do some walks, we were going to go up some crags and all sorts of stuff. Then we had another two days of horrendous weather, wind and rain. And yesterday, Thursday, wasn't too bad a day. We went to Whitehaven. Um, and then today, it's raining again and not so great. So, yeah, there was all sorts of stuff we were going to do. And unfortunately, it just hasn't panned out. So, I'm sitting in this morning. Miss Silly P's not up yet. She's still in bed. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to get on here and I'm going to get a couple of bits done. So, I'm at the store and we're doing a test. So, it's a kind of test and that's part of the, what I was going to do. The um, liquid um, fertiliser concentrate that we did in our liquid fertiliser um, tank production sort of thing. I said I was going to do a test and if you don't remember me saying about that, if we go to our pallets, we go to our liquid fertiliser, it's 3,200 for 2,000 litres of liquid fertiliser. And the point behind it being, here, on Evergreen Valley, if you buy the concentrate at $250 um, dollars for 40 litres, so each one of these is 250 If I spend the same amount of money on concentrate, how much will I get? And I said, I think it worked out to be about three times as much. Now this was all initially going to be because we've got the pivot irrigation system and I did say I wasn't sure what I was going to do about that actually let's head back let's pull that up so I've spent 3,250 because they're 250 per so I've got 13 of them I've emptied out my liquid fertilizer dilution tank and we are good to go again so I'm going to run it through we're going to see what we end up with now this is not so we can use liquid fertiliser as a fertilising uh, agent. This is weird. Oh, it's the, uh, the crossing thing. Someone's crossed, the car has stopped, and then everything just grinds to a halt. I'm going to just squeeze through there. I'm sure no one will mind. Um, so yeah, this is, this is a test I was going to do. I think it's going to be three times the amount, but as I was saying, um, I wasn't sure, because I've got liquid uh, because I've got a fertilizer and lime spreader and I'm going to use that for contract work and there aren't that many I think we've got three or four circular fields on the map which as I said it kind of makes the pivot irrigation system not a one-trick pony per se because obviously there are four fields but only when contracts become available on those and on the field I've got but I can use any fertilizing method on the field I've got so what I'm going to do, in the interest of heading towards the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to sell the pivot irrigation system. And then I thought, well that's frustrating now, because I've got all this, I bought the liquid fertiliser production, I'm running that, but then I thought, well, why don't I run it as, a, as that, as a production, to earn me money? Because it's a product, like anything else. I can produce liquid fertiliser that we can sell locally or we can have it shipped off by train or wherever it's going to go. So what I've done, I've emptied out our little production here. That's now got nothing in it, just water. Uh, we've got three full tanks and one of these has got 125 litres in or something. Which one of it? That one there, 129 where it is. Um, so yeah, three full, one with a little bit in it. 
Um, I've emptied the pivot irrigation system. So I'm going to sell the pivot irrigation system. We'll go to the map and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, so we've got our fields here. These two are a little bit larger, but most of the fields are rectangular. And the ones up to the north aren't rectangular at all. They're all kind of fitting into the landscape. So pivot irrigation is going to go. Now, my spaghetti is up on here. That's good. And we've got four canola and these are still chugging away. But here's a word of warning. This is not a, a moan per se. Um, disappointed? No, that's not the right one. Well, maybe it is. Um, annoyed? I don't know. It's difficult to say. Um, these packs that I've been using a lot, Omatana's mods, and I love Omatana to bits, and I love Omatana's mods. Um, and this has been out absolutely ages. The farm production pack. And it's got these kind of you know all these little buildings and you've got some that will do everything you've got individual ones they're not expensive to buy and they're not the fastest things to run and if you want to make money immediately then you want to sell your product directly um i did say that the the, the stuff i had as byproducts off of fields and off of contracts if i sold it the price wasn't great if i then made flour with it then used the flour to make spaghetti or noodles with it i could make more money that's a longer term prospect because this doesn't pump out spaghetti like you know if i just went and dumped a sell point so whilst i will earn more money it, it takes longer you've just got to allow for the fact it's going to take longer but here's the thing i nearly we nearly had a disaster on our hands so i came on here i thought okay let's get cracking let's get some more stuff done as you've already seen right at the start i've done a few contracts that plowing one i, I leased a plow I, I went up did the plowing i've done a harvesting i've done a baling contract oh yeah the baling contract that reminds me i'll get back to that moment if i remember um the baling contract i completed the contract and i had some hay bales left over so i've put the hay bales in storage here with the straw bales that we made before. Now, whether I'm going to use them or not, I don't know. Am I going to do sheep? I don't know. Use it for tell me it's ration? Don't know. Is it there as a resource that I can sell? It is. So it's there. So I've got some bales that were left over from a baling contract, which is wonderful. Um, how many have we got? Um, hay, 21. So we've got 21 hay bales in there, which is fantastic. Uh, so as you see, yeah, contracts I've done, and I think we don't have any other contracts available at the moment. I don't think anyway we will double check no no contracts available so back to this so i thought right let's crack on let's do this test let's you know i've got no contracts to do for the time being until something moves forward i don't have enough money yet to buy the next thing i want to buy so we need to work out a way to earn some money i thought about cutting down trees but we do a bit of logging cut some trees down take some lumber sell it and then this was when this popped up in my head again not planned because I decided to sell the centre pivot, the pivot irrigation system, it suddenly dawned on me this becomes redundant unless I use it for something else. And when I emptied all of it out, I suddenly thought, well, hang on, I've got 6,000 litres of liquid fertiliser, say, or actually that's not a full one, but um, anyway, so I came back on, I'm going to get to it, and this building was gone. And then I panicked and thought, have I uninstalled something have i removed a mod as and then that other panic sets in the time it had taken to get the three pallets at that point three pallets of spaghetti sat there plus what was in here because i couldn't remember the numbers i couldn't remember what was in here how much flour was in here ready to go and the fact that this was chugging and sending to here but this was gone so I thought, that doesn't make any sense i don't understand why um so i came out when i had a look and this farm production pack has had an update but it had an under the radar update not an update part of mods coming out because i thought well hang on, i've done mod reviews this week i don't remember this having an update when, when did this get updated um and the building was gone so i didn't save the game i came out went and checked and it was saying update so i clicked on update updated the mod came back in and it was back here which was brilliant because i didn't save it if i saved it would have been all sorts of problems and it was back here so then i looked to the change log and the change log said change of name of mod but nothing else and then it said after that by the mod hub team so the mod hub team updated it changed the name of the mod and the the mod's now called yard production pack not farm production pack 
because the new DLC coming out in conjunction with Giants they've called the Farm Production Pack. Now I don't think that's right. Like, I wasn't going to moan, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get on a rant now because I like Omatana, I've met Omatana, she's a lovely woman and her mods are brilliant. This mod's been out absolutely ages. It's, I suppose it's no different to registering your company at, at, at um, Company House and that kind of thing. You own the name to that. This was the Farm Production Pack and it has been since it came out. So the new DLC coming out is the Farm Production Pack. So they've obviously decided, well hang on a minute, uh, we need to change the name of Omatana's mod. Really? Why? Shouldn't you change the name of what? Because they're so far down the rabbit hole now. But again, it just shows they didn't stop to think. They didn't look. They didn't check. I know I'm assuming they've done that with the with the consent of Omatana. But I don't know how I feel about that. I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't know. It annoyed me. Plus the fact because they changed it and it wasn't within mods. I, like I say, I, don't, I went back through my mod reviews. I went back through the mods that have been released recently and had a look. And I'm thinking, I can't see it anywhere in the recent mod updates. Um... And I don't think it was. I think it's been done under the radar. So if you are using this mod and you haven't been on the map you're using it on or, or you've gone on and it's not there, that'll be why. Um, like I say, I'm just a little bit irked. Irked is the word. I think we'll, we'll, we'll use the word irked. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> just don't think it's fair. So... Our 13, we're going to unload into here, take the straps off, they're all going now, so I suppose the only downside to, I mean I say the downside, it's not a downside, we're going to find out in a minute aren't we? So the only downside to doing this is you have to go and buy them separately and then you have to load them into something. I could just throw them into the back of a trailer, it doesn't matter really. So, how are we looking? That's not a huge amount of concentrate in there, but I've got a bit of water in there. So 517 litres. How does that work out? If um, it's 40 litres per tub, how have I end up with a 17 there? I'm going to set that running. So... With $3,250 worth of concentrate, how much liquid fertilizer will I get? Well, I'm going to have to put more water in, I know I am, because it will run out of water. But that liquid fertilizer, I'm not going to use it for fertilizing, I'm going to sell it. So I'm now producing liquid fertilizer for other farmers. We can send it by train down to Frontier towards the main gate whether they send it off elsewhere by train to another place that's entirely up to them but why not if we can produce it and use the concentrate and triple the amount we're making I say let's do it so what I'm going to do now I'm going to take the pivot irrigation system now the only thing I'm going to have to do and I'm trying to think of or I'm going to look for something cheap because the liquid fertilizer, when it's done, is going to be in here, I've got to take it out of this and then unload it into pallets. Unless I use just a tanker. Unless I, I suppose I could just put myself a little tanker, couldn't I? Um, we have got that. But I can't remember if that does liquid fertilizer. And that's our water tank. But that wasn't expensive. What was that, three grand? So I'm thinking what we could do, if we get another one of these, if it will take the um, liquid fertilizer... I'll have to do a test. This is all part of the testing, I guess. Can I take it in a tanker to a sell point and sell it from the tanker? Or do I need to have it in pallet form? Either way, I'm going to need something to take it out of this to either direct sell or unload it as pallets to load up and take off and sell. Either way around, doesn't matter. I guess what we'll do now, if we check in the menu, check in our sales and we go to our animals. What's here, wasn't it? Oh, 2,500, even cheaper. Uh, it does do liquid fertilizer. So if I get another one of those for liquid fertilizer only, 10,000 litre tank, and we can test it. It's not going to break the bank at 2,500. I suppose it's going to charge me, isn't it? I don't want a spare wheel. I'll change the color. I'll change the rim color. If we're going to do liquid fertilizer, should I go red? Something that stands out as being that this is a chemical, not blue or white for milk or something like that. We'll do something that stands out. Uh, do I want to go bright red? See, red I normally go for diesel. So I go yellow. Maybe let's go like that. 
Yeah, that'll do. Well, these rim covers it is. So that's added to the grand on. That's almost doubled the price, actually. Um, not leasing it. Let's buy it. So, the first selling of these is going to cover a little bit of that. Um, um, so what I'm going to do also by the end of the episode, like I said, this, this is not a, you know, necessary farming. This is testing this. So a test of this, selling the pivot irrigation system, showing that I've done some contract work, talking about um, the uh, farm production pack by Omatana. I'm sticking with it. I'm not changing to yard production pack, farm production pack. Um, and then we're going to drive out up north and have a look at a couple of facilities because I said I've got my eye on getting a coal mine. And I haven't actually been up to check it. Did I check it in the early episode? I can't remember. I don't think I did. I'm going to whiz up and check the pricing and have a look and see what's what up there. So what I need to do is I'm going to take the pivot. I'm going to sell that um, because that's worth 20 grand or something, this irrigation system. So we'll take that directly. Take that up. I'll get more if I sell it up there than if I sell it, you know, from... Uh, from the iPad. Actually, that'll put a bit of money back, won't it? Because we've just spent 3,500 on, on a liquid tank as opposed to whatever this is worth. I think, had the whole map, had all the fields been circular, I probably would have kept this because you get it at the start, you get it free, part of the start equipment, so why not? But realistically, if you're doing contract work, it's um, it's a bit bulky. It's it's I don't know. I don't know. I'm justifying it. I'm just saying this is what I'm going to be doing. So let's get this sold. I won't be able to go into the menu there because, as we found, as we always find, the music's quite loud. But that's all good. It's nice being back on here. But like I say, because I've been away, because I am away at the moment until Saturday and as far as I know we're going to get mods dropped <laughs> today Friday quite a lot and that's not going to work because uh, myself and Mr. Peak so it's our final night away before we head home we're going out for dinner this evening which will be lovely we're going to take farm dog and go out for dinner so if they drop mods late today I'm going to be in trouble because I won't be able to get onto the mod review and as I said because we're away internet's spotty internet's patchy um, it's a lot slower than I'm used to and it's taking for a sort of 30 minute video it's taken about an hour and a half two hours to upload a video so a, a longer mod review at nearly an hour it's going to take three hours if not longer so i'm not sure what i'm going to be able to do and because we're traveling home tomorrow as well i don't know what i'm going to do there either so it's a tricky one isn't it it's a tricky one that's weird sorry i was just looking at my discord i don't message thing pop up I've just clicked on it and there's nothing there so I don't know what's going on there drop that off I guess the thing to do if I move those pallets if I try and fill this tank up from that one that's only 129 litres or whatever it is I can always whiz over and try it and see how that works can't I yeah we'll do that like I say it's all testing I'm just a theory in my head and you think you know let's give it a go so i'm gonna whiz in and yeah music Twenty-two thousand two hundred and sixty-two. we got for that so we're up to 320 grand now again another thing that sort of tripped my mind on this um was i don't watch the apprentice i, I used to watch the apprentice with, with alan sugar way back the early sort of first couple of series and i kind of lost interest and it was that thing you know I used to get frustrated and annoyed, which I suppose is half the point, isn't it? You watch it thinking, oh, I can do better than that, and you know, it's all that nonsense. Miss City P loves it. Um, and obviously, last week, she watched last week's at home, because we're away, and she said, Chubby, if I don't watch it, um, it'll be, you know, in the news, it'll be on social media, and I'll find out who's gone, so can we watch it? I was like, oh, I don't want to watch it. Anyway, I sat and watched it last night, and it was the usual thing, but it was the interview stage last night. And they were putting forward their business plans and, and that kind of stuff. And I watched with the usual frustration. And you know, is it just me? You get to an age where you just spend your life shouting at the telly. <laughs> oh dear, it's so frustrating to watch. But anyway, um, and while I was watching that, and they were putting forward their business plans, and one of the guys. Um, 
completely changed his, his business plan of what he was going to do because of all the feedback he got because his skill set was in another area and that's what made, got me thinking about this as well that, I know people will be very oh you know he's doing what he usually does he's cheating again but in the day if I decided my business plan if I was you know, you know that and Alan Sugar's always said buy cheap sell a lot you know it's that shift a lot of products a lot of people's attitude seems to be buy a few bits make it niche sell it really expensive people will walk up and go I'm not paying that you know you're better off buying in bulk get a load of stuff don't sell it too expensive sell it cheap shift a load of product make a bit of pro profit and that profit then you just roll it forward roll it forward roll it forward and it's a, it's a long ongoing thing so if you found this you know like we've used in the concentrate if I found the concentrate okay we can use this concentrate we can mix it um, I know there's a market for selling liquid fertilizer this is my business plan it's that thing yeah why wouldn't you it, it kind of let's say there's a few different things it's that weird um, a few things slotted into place that made me suddenly think you know what I'm gonna do this uh, it wasn't like I say it wasn't initially my plan of attack that wasn't what I was gonna do um, it is this one isn't it of course it's that one down there that I need to move okay right so uh, oh yeah you might also notice I bought some forks um, I was trying to move pallets around with the bale spikes and it's just it was ridiculous um, so these are ones that are I think they will load it up at the store's got a set of these so they're a bit longer than normal so I thought you know what we'll use these I've left that pickup in a horrible position haven't I? let's move that out of the way so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put that one little bit of liquid fertilizer into the tank I'm going to whiz over and try and sell it at the sell everything um, and then what we'll do if that works great if it doesn't I've got myself another tank but that tank oh well that's assuming of course I can unload from it that's the only problem as well some uh, vehicles machinery things like that you can unload product from some you can't so I'm hoping again it's all part of the testing that's why I'm testing it um, If somebody said to me, can you help me out? Could you list all the fertilizer spreaders that you can unload from? I wouldn't be able to remember off the top of my head. There's no way. I uh, know I've mod reviewed so many of them, but I honestly, I couldn't remember. Um, you'd have to get them all out. You'd have to check them all one at a time. Some do, some don't. I mean, the rule of thumb should be that they do, but they don't always. This does have tension straps on it as well, which is quite handy move that one off the top actually you know what I can put this on the uh... oh no I don't want to put it on the lorry yet because I might not need to uh, load it onto the lorry I might be able to do it in the tank if I put this one down and move that smaller one out of the way I know it's more pallet work and I know you know like I said when um, I, I did the little video on the uh, the new DLC coming out and I said there's that thing people that you know they either love it or despise it. There doesn't seem to be any middle ground um, doing pallet work. I don't know. We do have the same conversation. I've had this conversation over and over and over. The lifespan so far of FS22, this conversation has been an ongoing thing. With um, depends what you consider to be farming, what you consider to be. If you take the literal definition of farming, you're either doing crops or you're doing arable or you're sorry arable or livestock farming there are so many other types of farming farming is a very generic term but if you take it in the scope of farming as in what we all perceive to be a farm with tractors machinery animals that kind of thing but so many things can be farmed like you've got fish farming now with the salmon farms up around scotland and all over the place you've got oyster farms you've got you know forestry plantations they are farming trees so it depends what your definition of farming is what you consider to be so this ongoing debate of what is farming and what isn't farming what constitutes a farm what constitutes within the game what is farming and again I think that very simplistic uh, situation the definition of the term farming simulator as well and what that entails it's no different to reading anything. Things can be interpreted in so many different ways depending on your outlook, your perspective, your view on everything, you know? So it's a difficult one, isn't it? What 
you know, a lot of people argue, but all we're doing is just moving pallets around now. Well, a lot of farming does involve that, you know. A lot of productions, when you look at a lot of these, when you're doing potato farming, potato production, potato processing, any of these things, it's a lot of pallet work. It's a lot of moving stuff around. It's a lot of loading up. A lot of companies, you know, a lot of farms have third-party contractors that will come in to collect their goods and transport them off and sell them. But I think more and more now, there are a lot more farmers because of the cost of transportation, because of, you know, the cost of everything. And I've said this before, so many farms and farmers are, div are diversifying. Um, when you, like I said, there was an advert for Lloyd's Bank a little while ago, and they were working with some different farmers, and there's the guys that are now making whiskies and making vodkas, and there's uh, guys that are making crisps and making yogurts and cheeses, and, you know, all these productions that they would have just sold their product on to a company that made cheese so a lot of the farmers now are saying well we'll do it ourselves Let, let's set up this and we'll run it all in-house a lot of the farms have now got farm shops and their their product goes literally filled to shop it, there's nothing in between so it's um i don't know it's uh yeah that kind of it depends where you're from what you're used to it depends what you see on a daily basis it might be that where you live not a lot of that goes on um, and if your feeling on it is that the farming is literally the bits in the field, you know, you go out with your tractors, you prepare the field, you plant your crop, you grow your crop, you harvest your crop, you sell your crop, that's farming, then that's absolutely fine, isn't it? It's, you know, so it is, um, I don't know, it's, a, it's an interesting one. And the debates, which I'm assuming will rage on and on through the annals of time, so like I say, if this allows me to sell this directly, we're great. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to do it on pallets. But again, and then the next thing will be, can I unload from this? If I can, then I can just use this. Every time I've run a load through the uh, our liquid fertiliser production, then we're going. This will become liquid gold. Please let me sell it directly from this. Yes, get in. Oh, environmental score penalty. Have a word, son. Oh, precision farming. So we can. Brilliant. I haven't got a load of all those pallets on. So the pallets of spaghetti and the pallets of canola oil we've got on there. I'm going to bring in here as well. That's why I put them at the back of the trailer so I can back up. Um, I'm going to be honest with you at this point. I had about 25 minutes of footage that I'd recorded when I was doing the contract work. Um, and I think at some point, I, I'm not going to lie and say, oh, the footage was corrupted, the footage disappeared. I think I deleted it. I think in one of my exuberant, um, I go through on my share factory and I don't store all my footage, I don't, you know, I know people have terabytes and terabytes of storage of, of all their footage, so they can go back to it and use it, you know, at a later date or whatever they're going to do. I, I don't do that, because I, I do my editing on Share Factory. so I went on and I had loads and loads and loads on there, and it gets a bit clogged up and backed up, and especially when I've done a lot of mod reviews, a lot of map tools, you know, so all the footage, all the stuff that's there, um, I will go through and have a bit of a purge and get rid of stuff. And I think I accidentally deleted the footage, which is really frustrating. Because um, I thought, I, you know, I got up this morning, Friday, we head home tomorrow. I don't know what time mods are dropping. If they are dropping, it might be late. I'll get up, I'll get a video done. I've already got 25 minutes of footage. If I had another 15, 20 to that, that's a good 40 minute video. And couldn't find the footage. So, uh, yeah, a little bit frustrating, but what are you going to do? Now, what I am going to do, because I don't want to unload from here, we're on 816 litres, 817, 18 and, and climbing. So we'll see what we get from this. And this will be a rolling process then. What I can do is when this runs out, I could go spend 3,200, get another load. Um, so admittedly, actually it depends what I'm going to be able to sell it for actually. I don't know. I guess the next thing to do is these three. Like I said, one of those isn't quite full. These two should both be. What will I get for selling... It's 2,000 litres. If I think it's going to triple, that actually works out roughly what I think we're going to get. So if I take that and sell that now with the tanker, what will that earn me? 
and then 3,200 of what you earn will roll back into the next purchase of, of um, concentrate and then you run it again yeah <laughs> like I always say my head it seems to make sense it doesn't always um, yeah doesn't always in the real world so the real, I always just have the real world uh, you know what I mean <laughs> in the crazy fictional virtual world that we live in that we spend most of our time in that over to about there. Then I'll take the lorry over as well, we'll get that done. I don't think, did I say this before, I don't think that low loader has, um, I don't think it's got a rear trailer hitch, has it? Because if it has, I could just take the tanker on the back of it, couldn't I? I suppose this is overkill for, this great big low loader for just these is a bit mad. But again, we started with it, so I, I mean, I could sell it and get something else. Of course, I could. Oh no, I wasn't gonna do that. So I did the tanker first. Right, I'll see you over there in a minute. We'll see what we get for for the tanker, and then we'll know whether this is gonna be profitable or not. And that's assuming, of course, that we do go. It does work out at triple. If it does work out at triple, then we're absolutely fine. If it doesn't, not so much, but that's all right. Next part of the test, is it truly liquid gold? Potentially. And then the final part will be, does the 3,200 litres worth of concentrate I bought equate to three times the product? We'll find out. So far though, that's not bad at all. Twenty-three grand. That penalty is annoying. Anyway, that's all right. So if it works out at three times, I spent three thousand two hundred. That's that's a nice bit of profit. That's all right. You know what I'm going to say? It's not to be sniffed at. Right, so, we'll find out then, by the end of the episode, uh, I'm going to bring over the lorry then with the other bits and bobs on, with our spaghetti and our canoe royal, we'll sell that. We'll whiz up north and have a look and see about the uh, coal mine. I'm sure I said 450,000, didn't I? I can't remember. But we'll have a look. I've had a few people messaging me about these bridges. Um, you have got to be incredibly careful and incredibly not slow over these but there are some bits where if you catch it just wrong with the wrong trailer it will catapult you it, it will fling you off the bridge it will i've had a few people saying oh it's, it's horrendous you just have to slow down a little bit i mean i didn't have a problem at that point i hadn't had it happen to me but i came across the rickety bridge to the north and um, when i did the plowing and yeah i nearly ended up in the drink so yeah it's something to be aware of just uh Slow down for bridges. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll go up, we'll have a check once I've sold the stuff on the back of the low loader and we'll see about the coal mine. Then when we come back, I'll probably speed up time and we'll see what we've got liquid first. Because I've got no con, I've got my, because I haven't got any contracts to do. And we're waiting on crops to grow. So it's just a case of now the processes I've got need to run. Um, and then we'll see where we stand with regard to, you know, how much we do end up with. At the end of the day, whatever we end up with, it's going to be, we're going to make a profit. That's the thing about it. We are going to make some money, which is great. 
Actually, probably should have backed up a little bit further. So I can get the lorry past. Nice. Like I said, <laughs> I'm just thinking now, the amount of time I've been talking, what I've been doing, um, this is not going to be a short video, is it? Still, still going to end up being a 40, 45 minute video. In my head, I'm thinking it's going to be like 25 minutes, something like that. Nope. Right, let's get this sold. That wasn't too bad for the noodles and the canoe oil, was it? Like I said, we've got to hopefully be able to get through the winter. We might have to fall back on a bit of forestry or something like that. I don't know. Maybe not. I might just skip through the winter. We'll see. But we are heading up now. I'm pretty sure some of the other quarries... I can't, I'm trying to remember. Um, I think they're too expensive. I'm sure they are. So we want... It's here, isn't it? This is it. So the pickup point was down in there, actually in the mine area. This here is, I'm sure it was. This door. Yeah, it's 450. <laughs> I'm short. Four hundred and fifty grand for the coal mine. Um because once we go in the coal mine, we'll be producing coal and other things, which we can then do whatever we're going to do with them. Sell them to start off with. We won't obviously own the coal processing plant. Actually, there's a coal processing plant. One of these is, isn't it? Up here. Let me grab the pickup. I'm sure one of, the, one of them up here is coal processing as well. Because there's a large one and a small one. Um, so we could start off with the small one and then work our way up, couldn't we? Potentially, so that 360 grand we're on now. I'm aiming for 450. Buy the coal mine and then go from there. And I made no bones about the fact when we came on here, I wanted to try out a lot of the stuff, the new stuff that was on there. I say new stuff, but the stuff that's on here. And this one was is it this door. It is. All right, small coal plant, 150. That's actually that's not too bad. Um, there's no point buying the small coal plant now. I've got the money to, but I've got nothing to put in it. So that will produce electricity and stuff. Electricity and stuff, um, if I recall correctly. Um, so we can... Yeah, I mean, that's what we're kind of aiming for. So the coal mines first. So what we've got to do then is we'll go back. We'll see how we stand with regard to... Once all oh, that's all run through, if we're anywhere around 6,000 litres... Um, then I'm happy with that. We will make some money. Um, and then if any more contracts come out as we go into October, November, we'll see what happens. I don't think we will now. We're out of harvest season. There's no planting to be done until we get around to spring. Unless there's any cultivating or fertilising jobs that come up. Um, I do miss the old mission system of transport and delivery of things. So to be out, I mean, I know it's interesting. I was saying earlier on about the pallet thing. If you go back to FS50, the missions that were on maps, four contract sort of stuff, the missions were you would go and pick up a, a pallet of this or some pallets of that and take it to the hotel or take it here. And on Spectacle Island, it was like you'd take suitcases and take them to the hotel and you'd pick up this. And it, you know, those sort of jobs I think were quite cool. Again, they weren't farming because obviously you're picking up suitcases and delivering to a hotel. That's, you know. That's just a transportation job, but they were quite cool. And it gives you something to do in the off season when you've got that thing where there's no more field work to be done. And also, I've said this before, Silver and Forest promised so much when you had the um, rock breaking contracts and you had the logging contracts. 
that were delivering lumber. So during the winter months, when they popped up, you could go and you would pick up the lumber by the side of the road, take it off to the sell point, and you'd get paid your delivering the, the logs. That never went any further. We, we didn't, you don't see many map makers utilizing. I don't, I, I suppose it's proprietary giants coding stuff, I guess, from Silver Run. But those sorts of missions, we didn't really then see go any further into anywhere else, which I think would be quite cool. It's that off season stuff that we're kind of missing. Um, we don't even really get contracts for snow removal or you know anything like that sorting the roads those kind of jobs would be quite cool to do in the off season so i will see you now in a little while once our product has run through i'll concentrate and then we'll see what we end up with i'll take that to sell and then if it works out in the off season i just have to let my productions run out run through i've got plenty of flour so we'll get tons of spaghetti um, obviously when we've got much canola left that will run out soon but that was just left over from a couple of contracts we did so that was all good a couple of contracts we did for sorghum had some left over so all that was going towards flour and all that flour will go towards spaghetti so once that's all run out I think it worked out I, initially it was going to be about 40 grand but I think with the extra sorghum contracts we've managed to pick up and have a little bit spare it's going to work out a bit more than that but it's going to take time for that production to run that through so oh that was something I was saying you probably saw it on the floor um, that um, silage additive that was from a bailing contract I had I bought silage additive and then when I finished the contract I thought well that's handy to have I'll keep it so I unloaded it from the baler um, but I unloaded it right here and it, it's not liftable actually now I've got the forks I could probably pick that up and just tidy it up and move it to one side and put it inside a building but anyway so yeah I'll see you in a minute it is now quarter to five in the evening, well early evening, late afternoon, <laughs> uh, and it's not bad, it's not bad at all, 5,725 litres, so for the cost of 2,000 litres, we've added some water, yes obviously there's this production, but what we sold last time, this cost 7 grand, we've paid for this, this facility, this little production thing, that's paid for. Um, so for the cost of one IBC, 3,200, 2,000 litres, we've got 5,725 litres. And I'm now going to take that and sell. I think I should be able to get up to the store and get another load of um, concentrate before they close for the evening. My test is complete. Like I said, I, I, I was kind of sure in my head that that's what it worked out at about three times. Um, not three times the concentrate because the concentrate only came in at 500 and well it said 517 litres didn't it um, but five, three times your standard um, 2000 litre IBC so for the cost of one IBC you end up with three IBCs worth just a little under but in all honesty that tiny little bit not a problem at all so we are heading towards our coal mine Hopefully next time I see you, we might be in the grips of winter, we might be out of winter and into spring. Um, hopefully we have a bit more money, or we might be at a point where we've earned enough money from our productions that are running, and if I do a couple more of these maybe, um, I mean I could just spend the next 24 hours just running liquid um, fertilizer. Uh, I actually haven't even checked on the price, whether we even take it to sell everything. I think that might be the only place that takes it, is um, the best price. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, I am still alive. Hello. I hope you're all right. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.